Hi, my name is Derek Garcia with LearnSBOM.com, and today's video will be a little bit different. I'll be talking about the open source vulnerability database and its API, which is less of a tool rather than a valuable resource. It's been used by a few of the tools we've demoed on this channel, so I figured I'd give a more detailed look to see where these tools get their information from and show how easy it is to integrate into your software environment. I'll start by going over the OSV's background. The database itself is completely open source and designed to combine vulnerability information from databases that use the open source vulnerability schema. The open source vulnerability schema allows for vulnerability reports to be universal, despite the ecosystem that the vulnerability occurs in. As a result, the OSV database can pull information from the GitHub, PyPy, and Rust advisory databases, the Go vulnerability database, and the Global Security Database and OSS Fuzz. Collectively, these databases can cover vulnerabilities for popular pi package managers, such as Node Package Manager, Mavid, NuGet, and PyPy, among other code bases. To help visualize how much information this database has, we'll take a look at their web UI. So on the home page, we can immediately see the amount of vulnerability alerts each ecosystem has with this nice visual here. And if we switch over to the database, we can see that there's over 30,000 you know, vulnerabilities stored, with the most recent being you know, minutes old. And I'd also like to point out that it's very aesthetically pleasing. The web UI design is understandably overlooked for databases since majority of the time you are just requesting information, but it's much appreciated since it makes looking through the already dense vulnerability information as simple and painless as possible. As a comparison, I've pulled up two pages relating to the same CVE, one of which is from OSV and the other is from the CVE database. So this relates to the same CVE. As you can see, it's very nicely laid out. We can see any details, references about the affected packages. Very simply, plainly laid out. Uh, it's, again, not a direct comparison content-wise, but the CVE itself, the site is very... It's black and white. It's a little much information, a lot of text, kind of hard to look through. Again, this is nothing against the CVEs themselves. Just visually, the OSV looks a lot better. Content wise, we can click what's the most recent alert, alert and we can see, you know, again, we can see where the source is from, any other aliases. All this information is very easily accessible and parsable. Manually, OSV is easy to search, but its simple API allows for quick integration into any project. To demonstrate, I'm going to use curl on an Ubuntu server. The API can query the database using either a hash value, package name, version, or OSV ID. So right here is just the one I'm going to be requesting information about, something small. But this information we can all do through curl. So switching over to the terminal. Uh, for the hash, we can use the following command, which is just a curl post with the commit hash. The jq command just pretty prints the file, but we can see all the information that's related to that specific hash. Next we can query for a package name and version, which are required if you're going to search for a package it's required to have the version. Technically you can append these to the hash, but it's a little redundant at that point. Anyway, the query can, the package name and version is as follows. So again, we're posting again, this time with the version and the specific package and ecosystem. So after we do that, we can see less information since it's about a single package, but it's relating to the same you know, OSV ID. Lastly, we can query with the OSV ID directly. So again, we're just essentially just getting to the website itself. And we can see all that information again. So ID, summary, packages and information, all that sort of thing. Lastly, using these requests, we can sort of put together a JSON file of queries to request, allowing you to request several values at once rather than several requests for single values. The batch query 
currently supports a max batch size of a thousand package, but I'll only demonstrate a few from, you know, the documentation. So I already have a JSON file here. We can see one's using the Perl ID, one's a commit hash, the other's the package and version. So if we, this time we're to the query batch, after a moment, we can see any sort of security alerts for these packages, if any. So the first one didn't have any alerts, so it's no information. And from here, we can you know, look up more information using the other API methods. And that's about it for OSV. It's extremely useful database that provides current and detailed vulnerability information. And its API allows for easy integration to any sort of vulnerability scanner or related tool. Well, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us at learnsbomb.com. Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here, and then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye-bye.